with Aloy. This path leads to the cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking. Rost used to tell me stories about the Banuke and their shamans, and how they thread blue cables through their skin. Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Lord. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. Welcome, I guess. Ha! You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb.
You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. This is Song's Edge, biggest settlement in the cut. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village, too. What's it for? In times like these... Must be something big going on. Most of the hill. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Uh, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kins, Lanuk long for, falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! Blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back! Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Orea vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her, but no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. I want to know more about this daemon. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. 
I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Oh, no, I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't make I wonder if our yeah, talk could tell awesome. me more about Araya. Whatever they do, strong. they do it with passion. Might be worth a shot. People still sing the songs of exiles as warnings. Again, doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good outlander. I suppose you wish to speak? You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a... Worse, fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. This daemon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. Old expanded parasites surviving off the earth. Okay, I want to learn more about how this thing affects the machines. I've got to find Araya. To do that, I need to talk to her apprentice who followed the river north. Bergen said Araya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. <laughs> that must be Naltuk, looking out of that tower. Who are you? How did you find me? Bergen told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need well, to you find Rhea. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop its can. About these towers. In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. All right. You want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is.
Interesting.
very cold. I get it. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The Daemon's You next. claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the Ice Rasps. You'll have to walk the Shaman's Path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. How do I cross this Shaman's Path? Go to the Ice Rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up. Somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right. I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path.
I wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly.
var. Ask again, as I speak to me, I will reach you. No mark that will break your. Ah! I can't help you if you won't speak. A whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. the same. Get the light back to the source.
Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? I will not submit. Ik Orea, the demon is You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can Won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She's suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Is there a tall neck in the area? Yes, near the frost figures. But it's been frozen in ice for generations. What does that have to do with anything? It'll help, trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. If you say so. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your... Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. <laughs>